Trust us. Under that cold <laughs> dusting of snow, spring really is here. And by the end of the week, we're expecting temperatures that'll you know make us all feel like spring. Right. Think about gardening. But if you're like me, you have thumbs of death. <laughs> uh, uh, composting can be a way to naturally grow plants. And local author Michelle uh, Michelle Balls has written a book on the subject. I mean, a real book. There's a picture of it right there. It's called Composting for a New Generation. And we sent Megan Moore to get some good ideas to get into composting. And Megan joins us now live. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, John. And we are right in Michelle's backyard. We have the book, too. A beautiful book. Lots of information jam-packed in here. But we have Michelle Baltz with us here right now. And uh, we're going to give you some tips. Because I, I know if you're probably starting out, you've never done composting before. Uh, there's some things you need to know. So w what are some of the tips? All right, so when you start composting, you want to start with about two feet of shredded leaves okay. is the best way. And then you want to add your food scraps. Every time you add fruit and vegetable scraps, you want to completely cover it up with more leaves. Okay. That's really important. The Right behind us here, you said this is probably uh, how most people will start out. Of course, I know right over here, this is something a little more advanced, which we'll show you in a bit. But this is kind of what it starts out looking like. What are uh, some of the things that you can put in your compost pile? So you can put any kind of fruit or vegetable scrap. Basically, if it came from a plant, you okay. can put it in there. Oh, sure, absolutely. You can put uh, coffee grounds, what we have here. So you just dump those right in. These are really great if you just have leaves yeah. and you just want to add coffee grounds and start out that way. That's fantastic. Um, so anything that you can, you just put it in there. Okay. And then, um, and then you want to cover it up with leaves every time. You should never look in your compost bin and see a banana peel peeking okay. up out of you. Um, you know, out to you, you want to, uh, what I do is I keep a nice wire bin of leaves right yeah. next to my compost. Perfect. And I just grab some leaves and cover it up like that. You said this is really good too, especially where we live in this region uh, with our soil. This, this definitely helps with the plants. It really does. So if you have really heavy clay soil yeah. and you want to amend that to be able to grow some plants, this, the, the product that you get out of backyard composting is beautiful, airy. Um, it's black, black and crumbly, yeah. and it will really get in there and help your plants grow better. All right, Michelle. Well, again, thank you so much for, for the tips here live on our show. But again, she has composting for a new generation uh, available in bookstores on Amazon, too. So if you want to check it out, go on there. I'll send it back to you guys. And you don't have to spend a bunch of money no. on devices and things. That's pretty cool. It is nice.